Nope. We'll do it live! F*** it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Oh, did you plant one in the Discord? What is up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Nintendo Talk Live. I am Bobby, the Nintendo Guru, joined by Mr. Badbit himself, Joseph Moran. How are you doing, sir? Hello. I'm doing fantastic. Well, all right, because I don't have a beard and it's awful. But other than that, I'm fine. Joseph Moran, how are you doing, sir? Hello. I'm doing fantastic. Well, all right, because I don't have a beard Bobby, and it's are you awful. okay? But other than that, I'm fine. Joseph Moran, how are you? I am... I stopped talking because, you know what, I'm trying to, like, watch the video for a second to say, like, <laughs> is it delayed? Is it not? And I'm like, I think Bobby. I'm delayed. I think you're not. And I'm like, this is absolute mess. So we're real quick while we're while we're doing this. What I'm going to okay. do real quick is I am going to try to eliminate my webcam real quick right. and then reinstall my webcam real quick. So I kind of blanked out for a moment on the on the audio side. Yeah, because you, you, you're just like this. For like 30 seconds, I'm yeah, like, did I'm like, I crash? I'm like, no, no, no. I'm staring at myself like, wait a minute. Where is, where am I at? What is going on here? And then <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's not, that's not what I want. So um, technical difficulties, my people. And, and I apologize for, for that. And we will, we will get this corrected momentarily. I think I got it corrected. You know, I get right it. Now. This is why you know. bring me on the first one. It's the rough patch, right? It, yeah, it, it, for some reason, there's a little bit of a lag on I don't know what the hell's going on. It doesn't matter. Anyway, anyway, okay. with that said. Yes. Um, how you been, man? How you been? Um, you know what? I've been, I've been really good lately. Yeah? It's been a rough month, but somehow, right? Oh, it's always right before February happens. There's a quick rebound. So I'm fantastic. I couldn't be better. Well, that's a very good thing. That's yeah. a very good thing. Um. Man, it's been I'm I'm a little out of sorts. It's been about two, three weeks since I've done one of these. I don't oh, even know yeah. how to do any I don't even know how to do one of these anymore. I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to be talking about. What's Nintendo? I think we're it's, supposed to talk about PlayStation the superior console. Uh, well see that's think, where you're wrong already. That's or like cardboard or something. Because I don't listen, know. man, the way the way I'm seeing things, yeah. If things if the trends continue the way they are then that means Nintendo is going to outsell the PS4 in year one. Well, you, re- you recognize, you recognize that's, an a possi- that's a very strong possibility. No, I love the Switch. I do. I, I, I love it. it. I love it too. I, it just blows me away that like they literally sold 4.6 million, 4.86 million units in that's, two months. That's crazy. That's nuts, man. It's it's awesome to see, and it's awesome to see Nintendo really confident to do really weird stuff again. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, they're, it's... They're just throwing it out there. It's awesome. It really is. So, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm, congratulations. Uh, you know. Yeah. Well, listen, it, it's funny because I did a video. I did a Nintendo Talk video probably a month and a half ago now, give or take. And in that time... I was sitting there and I was just like, you know, I don't think that Nintendo can like I know they're going to beat the Wii U lifetime sales. Yeah, that was like that was a guarantee. Like I knew yeah. that was going to happen. No big deal. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna eclipse that one easily. <laughs> and at first, for some reason, I I guess I was misinformed. I thought that the, I thought the PS4 had only done about like fifteen million. And I was like, oh, they got that. They can take that out too. And then I I went back and I looked again. I was like. Oh no no no! It's eighteen million. Yeah. Okay, so that's a little bit of a steeper number. I was like, "There's no way Nintendo's gonna get that," because I think by the time the year's up, they're just gonna barely beat the Wii U. And then all of a sudden, they come out a couple weeks ago, and they're just like, "Oh, by the way, we we just eclipsed the Wii U." And I was like, "What? Like, holy crap, dude!" It's so crazy because, like, you know it. I said this in a past video, but I really, it, to me, it, it always stays true that it shows like how, how how much of a failure the Wii U was. It really like highlights that, oh, but it yeah. also shows how Nintendo learned from it, yeah. right? Like it really showed Nintendo has has learned from their mistakes with the Wii U, 
and this and the switch is is something that I I think it's. It's always it's always awesome. It sounds weird, but it's always awesome when a company gets humbled, right? Like we're seeing it now with the Xbox. Mm-hmm. They're trying to win over their fan base again yeah. with the X. You're trying to hit restart, and so like yeah. with the Wii U, I think that was a big time of self reflection for the company of of what what are we going to be and what what are we going to be known for? And seeing seeing them take the big swing with the Switch. And making it the success it is, it just shows that everything when it comes to marketing, PR, the product itself was just, it, it learned everything perfectly. It was, yeah. it was awesome to see. You know, it's oh, amazing. The, um, well, the, the, the thing that made me bring this up, too, is yeah, I'm seeing all these tweets and all these people talking about, like, uh, Nintendo wants to support the Switch for the next five to six years mm-hmm. which is what people are saying which is different than a normal life cycle and i'm like sitting there thinking like wait wait, wait. when did five to six years become the normal li- span of a life cycle of a console like maybe before they reiterate the console yeah but every console typically runs close to 10 years like eight to 10 years is the sweet spot before a company launches their next console um now coming off the wii u Maybe that's what people are saying is like, hey, or maybe Nintendo is just basically trying to say or get it out there to like, hey, guys, right. the Wii U was an absolute screw up. We recognize that. We're going to go beyond that with the, with the Switch, you know, and, and that's the crazy thing. Like, I, when you look at, like, the NES, mm-hmm. Super Nintendo, like, those ones seem to go a lot longer. Like, yeah. the, NES, the NES only shut down and moved on. Because the Genesis was actually starting to outdo the, the Nintendo. Nintendo didn't want to get rid of the NES. They wanted to keep going. And then they finally, hesitantly, moved over to, to uh, you know, to, to Switch. Or to, not to Switch, to, to, the, to Super <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah. Um, and then that ran for for as long as it was. It's weird because, yeah, a lot of, a lot of people, I think, they, they viewed console generations as, like... Um, this really definitive point in time, mm-hmm. whereas like the PlayStation Two, like it was at what two thousand two until two thousand twelve, right? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, and yeah. and so like all these consoles, they have a period of of they still go on. Like you know, the Xbox was until twenty what fifteen twenty fourteen around there. Like they're still making, and even in even in some cases, when it comes to games like the PlayStation Two, it was only a few years ago they stopped making games for it. So like, a, lo- a lot of people view generations as okay when everybody has their newest thing at the same exact time. Yeah. That's when it starts, and most yeah. of the time it does overlap. But we see with this generations, it's a weird one. Like yeah. we're seeing mid console generation uh, upgrades. We're seeing this the the Wii U introduce the new generation, then. And and then see the switch come in this generation. So, generations is a very, a very a, a bigger term. I, I think I think we're going to see a, a few generations of the switch. I mean, like I don't want to pretend to be like a fortune teller or anything, but I I, I definitely think that this is the sweet spot that mm-hmm. Nintendo's hit perfectly in terms of like there's nothing that competes with the switch. Yeah, there's nothing. And I think you have you found a market now. It's all to your own, and until someone comes in to challenge you, if I was Nintendo, I'd just stay here for as long as I can. You know, yeah, yeah. Make a switch with a 1080p screen, or or whatever the case may be. But I I love it. Like to me, the Switch is 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 the console I've always wanted. It's it's perfect to me. Yeah, you know, like I'm, I'm, damn, I'm very happy with it. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Like it's it's like. Even when I go to myself, like, I'm going to buy Monster Hunter. I'm going to buy Everybody Loves Golf. I find myself going, like, man, I really want to go play Xenoblade Chronicles. Like, uh, I'm just going to go back over here. Yeah. Like, I'll put time in. And it's crazy because, like, Tony, uh, this this, this girl's nuts. Uh, (laughs) Love love her to absolute death. But she's, Mm. she's... an absolute train wreck. I think I've rubbed off on her in, the, in all the bad ways. Oh, so yeah. she went to her mom's a couple weeks ago to watch the dogs. And she gets there and she says to her mom, like, um, I'm going to be bored here for two weeks by myself. Um, can you can you buy me an Xbox? 
So her mom went and bought her an Xbox One X. Okay. Yeah. So then she comes home <laughs> after her mom buys it for her. She comes home and steals the Fallout Four edition that that I bought for her. Oh boy. So that way she could play that. She has the game to play, right? So okay, no big deal. So then she proceeds to tell me this like a week later, and I'm like, wait, 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 you, you, wait, your mom bought you an Xbox. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, you you realize that, like, we you just bought me an Xbox for Christmas. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. I was, I was like, well, why don't you just take this? She's like, because it was new, and I didn't think you wanted to let it go right away. And I was like, okay. But, but, here's okay. The, but it, did she bring the, is, like, is the Xbox at her mom's forever now? Is no, that no, like no, the... no. She'll, she'll, she'll bring it back eventually. <laughs> Um, so, so then, right, so, anyway, so it, the, the whole point of this is, she yeah. then turns around to me and she's like, hey, why don't you start playing Fallout 4 with me? Mm. And I was like, okay. So I fire up the PS4, and I start playing Fallout 4 here, and she's playing at her mom's house, so I'm like, sending her texts like, I don't know where to go, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do, can you help me? Can, uh, Fallout Guru, can you help me? Like I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm lost and I need help. Yeah, and she's like, she's like, you are such a sissy. Do this, do oh this. And I'm god. like, oh my god, dude. But it was, why does it take forever when I enter everything or e- yeah. exit out of buildings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's oh, ridiculous. So, but you. um, so I even started playing that, and then like I just was like, I played it for a couple days, and I was just like, I want to play Xenoblade Chronicles X or Xenoblade Chronicles Two. So I went back and I started playing that, although. I finally Mm. hit the point where I'm like, this game is either going to piss me off and I'm done with it or I'm going to, I'm going to bear through and push through. I'm at a point where I have to grind and I like, okay. I I like grinding. I like grinding too, but not when it's like, it's holding up the storyline. Okay. I'm at a point where I have a barrel that I have to like crack open or something and I don't have enough affinity powers for this character to unlock it. So right. now I look at my infinity my infinity chart and I'm like, oh, I need to I need to get like another two thousand points before I do this. So I'm like, well, how do I even get affinity points? I don't even know how to get it. And it's a matter of you have to go around and fight things. So then this way your your partners build trust amongst each other, and then mm. the affinity chart starts to go up. And I'm like, damn man, like this is ridiculous. So now I'm sitting there running around. Just randomly trying to fight stuff. And the problem with that game is this. Mm. I love the game, but I hate the game at the same time. When, like, I'm running through a swamp, and I'm like, okay, I need to go fight something. And I start fighting something. And then next thing you know, another creature comes in. And then another creature comes in. And then this OP creature that's, like, a level 80 comes in. And one hits me and wipes me out. I'm holding my own against the other three. (laughs) <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a lot of points after I beat these three. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, here comes Mr. 80. And just like, you're dead. Done. Yeah. I, like, it's uh, When it comes to my Switch, like a lot of people in the chat are also talking. About, this is like, it's a bit of a slow period this month when it yeah. comes to the Switch. I haven't yeah. touched it much. I've been, I, every time I, I say it, and I'm like always about to, but something happens. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the verge of buying Celeste. On the verge. Mm, it, that game it, doesn't do it for me, man. Oh, I like the dashes. I like I uh, like when I'm seeing it, I'm like, ooh, I like this. This is my fetish dashes. Yeah. And um I, I but like for me, yeah, no, like it's it, I'm getting reacquainted with my PlayStation right now. So like I got Monster Hunter. Mm-hmm. Oh god, man, the game is so much fun. See, I think I next week is where it all starts to unwind for exactly. me, unravel for me. Because next week I'll buy Dragon Quest Builders. Yep. I am so. I already bought it. I bought it. It's pre-installed on my system. I'm ready to go for that game. Um, I played the demo. I played through the demo, and I it like. <coughs> excuse me. I had the game on the PS4. Yeah. And I loved it, but the problem was was that like I started to play it, and um, you know I had it over there, and I was just like I don't feel like coming down here and having to sit down and play. The beauty of the way my setup is with my switch here. I got a switch dock here and my TV here. So I could literally shoot a video and as the video is exporting, I could play Yeah. and then stop. And then I could start doing something else. And then as the video is uploading and it takes like 30 minutes to upload or 40, I can start playing again. 
and then but like my PS4 I have to actually leave where I am and go over there yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the problem is not so much that's not the issue of going over there to play but the, now I'm away from the computer and I can't see what my uploads are and stuff like I want right. to just keep it fluidly like I'm looking to play but I'm looking to like take over my time that I'm working on, well, on stuff that's why for me like I have my switch on the left of me mm-hmm. right I'd show you but it's messy it's it's a yeah, disaster it's area all right, it's all right. there's a right right next to me is a switch so sometimes I'll just go over and I'll play that if it's a really long uh, edit and then like or I'll take it here and I'll just detach it and, and play it with the joy cons yeah. Yeah. Or I, I, I'm lucky enough that I, I edit on a MacBook, so I just slide it over to the right, and then See, I, I, have just an I, I have a, I have an iMac, so yeah. mine's kind of like locked in, you know. To, Man, to if only Sean is. Capri knew the power of what is Apple, you know. He's he's stuck. He's like, oh, I got I Sean got this Capri, PC. I got I'm tell you right now. Oh, you for know? anybody for anybody that yeah. listens to uh, the gaming gurus, you are going to want to listen this week. Because oh Mr. K- Mr. Capri and I are going to have a battle on that show. He's already told me his topic, oh, no. and he's already told me like he's mad and he wants to fight. What? And I was like, I, I read the topic, and I was like, game on, sir. I am ready for you. <laughs> like I am so ready for you. Um, yeah. You are not going to do anything but sit there. Like a little biatch and keep your mouth shut because I'm oh, gonna no. I'm gonna. What's drop. the topic? Can, can we can we for the audience? So just for the audience, a little sneak peek. We're not going to talk yeah. about because I don't want to give off my uh, hand here. I wanna... But he he basically showed um, Brian Altano Brian Altano's tweet this week where Brian was pissed off at Nintendo because they lost his saves and stuff right. and the lack of cloud saves is what ah. Sean is is yeah. is going with this. So. I know Mr. Capri's little little. Issue. That's just like to me. It's just a, it's a thing that should be on Nintendo Switch Online. We we will we will we will talk about this tomorrow. Be prepared, because <laughs> because I'm I'm about to lay it to smack it down on Mr. Capri. Oh, man. How I you know what I wonder how you're gonna lawyer your way out of it. Oh, or don't Jersey worry about that. I got it. this one ready. I oh, have man. I have been ready for this one. The minute I saw the topic, I'm like. You're done, Sean. I got oh. you covered, brother. You are oh, covered. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm rooting for Sean. I always root for Sean. Man, that's fine. Everybody can root for Sean. Yeah. I can care less, man. He's it's, got this cute right. little baby, but like, yeah, again, you know taking what? up the spotlight. I don't like that. It's, it is what it is. I just want to say this to everybody. I want to let everybody know that like, I just got out of a, a conference call with a Mr. Uh, Adam Leonard. And we are working on, because I just became an affiliate with Twitch, I get emotes mm. that I can that we can do. So Adam is working on the emotes for this channel. Um, he's going to do obviously three emotes. Um, based I think on, I already know what what one would should be if you haven't thought about it already. I, you know what? Now I'm just thinking about it. One should be me in a trash can. <laughs> like yeah, that's the like, it's like hot garbage. That's what yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, garbage yeah, yeah. on fire. Yeah. yeah. And then one could be me. <laughs> oh, you know what? As I'm thinking about this, I gotta I gotta remember I'm gonna go to Adam with this. That's one. The second <laughs> one should be my face like Kirby sucking in something. And then let's not make it foul. Oh, that's the only thing. Um <laughs> okay. So we'll just we'll just leave it there. And then uh oh, like and then what could the third thing be? I gotta think about what the, the I gotta think about what the third one should be. Okay. But that would be kind of cool. So so one is one is me is like Oscar the Grouch in a trash can, <laughs> and then the other one, yeah, the other one should be me as a Kirby. I like it. All right, I like we'll, it. We'll, and I'll figure out the third one and I'll tell him to do that. So that's good. That's good. No, Purple Monkey says I look like Kirby. I I, I he know does, he does look like Kirby right now. All he I hate is, it. We splatter. If he had to put a pink shirt on tonight. It'd have been game on. It'd have been game on. I don't like this. I I love it. It looks like baby face. Although now we all Papa, everybody, Papa. I, I, everybody says that we look like father. So that's done Papa. now. You've lost the beard, so that's done. We don't look. Oh, like all him. I need is like a little glasses, and we yeah, I just, can bring it back. Got the glasses Papa. on, and it's all back on. Exactly. Um, man, so I went to uh, I went to to next level games today. Oh yeah. And oh my lord. Dude, I oh, dro- I, I, I dropped some money. Up. How much money did you? What did you buy first off? I bought a Super Nintendo. Okay. I bought a 2DS 
the Pikachu version of the 2DS. Just because okay. it's it's a collector's thing, you know. The, the, Man, the flip, you the you Nintendo TV. guys inflate I know, those I numbers. Know, I know those it, numbers. It's that meme, those, buff up those numbers. I'm the reason. I'm the reason why. I'm the reason why Nintendo won't ditch the 3DS. <laughs> right. That's why Nintendo won't d- ditch Part the 3DS. of the problem, man. I bought I bought the mother, the mother two. Okay. Vinyl album. Um, I don't even have a I don't even have a vinyl. I don't have a record player, but I bought it because I liked it. I'm like, I'm a big Earthbound Mother fan. Right, right. So I was like, I bought it. I was like, I'm going to put it on my wall with the rest of the stuff that I have, all my mother <laughs> stuff. I bought the original Legend of Zelda complete in box. Ooh. Um, that actually is real nice. Yeah. And then. Um, Never played the first Legend of Zelda, guys. Well, you're a joke. And then Never, I, and I've always wanted to. You, you, you don't don't talk to me right now. Um, and then I bought a bunch of different like Super Nintendo games. So mm. um, jams, I got it from Next Level Games, Nick Nick Militia over Next Level Games. So man, I dropped almost four hundred bucks, man. <sighs> I went hog wild today. Oh, boy. I bet every time they you come in there, they just have the biggest smile. Bobby, well, what's up, but, my dude? But I don't. Well, the thing is, that I don't spend. Okay. That this is the most I've ever spent there. Oh wow. I I don't I I don't know what the hell I did. But Nick is like, such a good guy, dude. Yeah. Nick is Nick. Is, so it's funny because my my buddy Miguel's like, oh, you just paid Nick's rent, and I'm like, <laughs> I just I just paid his Patreon for the year. Like <laughs> the money he gives me on Patreon, I'm just giving it right back to him, man. <laughs> Tenfold, man. Like, yeah, I always get, I always get next level, and then there's one near my house called uh, Level One Games, right? I think that's what it's called. Th- those guys are real nice. I, I, we have, we have a bunch of retro game stores around here. We got Digital Press. I was actually right. I was there today. Yeah. Um, man, I love retro stores. There's just that is, feeling. What we should do is you, mm. me, and Jam Jams should meet up. And then, you know, we could go. Is he in the Jersey area, Jams? He's in New York, man. Oh, all right. I know, he's, he's a joke. <laughs> Wait, he's upstate joke. Jams, is it upstate New York or the other one? Upsta- I think it is upstate New York. All right. Well, neither of you guys know how to drive. Fix it. And then we'll Whatever. come up. <laughs> Whatever. But, um, and then, and then the other thing was, oh, he lives in Long Island. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah no. he's, he's trash. Fix it. <laughs> he's trash. <laughs> He could take a couple of trains, you know? He's trash. He's straight up, man. He's just... Those people. Those people in Long Island are such a joke. Let me tell you something. I, there was a pride of Long Island once. Yeah. And, he's and now he's in California. Yeah. <laughs> I love that guy. Did you see the tweet he man. sent yesterday to me? Yeah. That was amazing. Uh, that was amazing, dude. It was amazing. He is the best. So yesterday... So, okay. I was supposed to go to New York yesterday. I was supposed to go to, um, oh man, Uh-oh. oh, I got it. Alzheimer's, Bobby. I'm here for no, you. No, I got a message. I got a message, and it, okay. th- it threw me off. It just took that quick. I, I read because it pops up on the top of my computer. I got. It. I was like, what the hell's that? Anyway, um, so I yesterday I was supposed to go to New York. I was supposed to go to an EA event. Okay. For Zoink Games, for Faye. I like Zoink. Yeah, and I was supposed to go there and I didn't go. And um because yesterday was mine and Tony's nine year wedding anniversary. So, so you gotta really weigh it in like Tony I'm like you... I'm like, man, do I mm. and I was like it was a no brainer. It really yeah. was. It was a no brainer. Yeah. I just said to her, I said, I wanna go to dinner Friday night and she was like, uh I don't know. And I was like, come on. Please, let's go to dinner. Let's. I had to beg her. You know what I mean? And then she was like, okay, well, let's go. And then when I told her, like, well, Zoink Games, do she goes, well, go do that, and then we'll do something later on this weekend. I was like, no, 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 no. Mm. You are more important to me than, than Zoink Aww, Games. Oh, look at that. So, so I go to dinner, and what happened was, was I actually got out of work at, like, noon. Okay. And she was supposed to get off work at 4 o'clock. Well, she texts me at... Like two o'clock, and she's like, "Are you off work?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm done." And she's like, uh, "Hey, I'm gonna come out. Well, let's go out to dinner earlier. Like, I get off at three. You want to go to dinner at three? I was like, "This is practically brunch. This isn't dinner." So I tweet out 
Like, yeah. hey, I put I tweeted a picture of Tony, and I was like, I'm getting ready to go have dinner with this beautiful woman, yeah. and uh, Colin Moriarty comes back and he's like, Bobby, it's 11:55 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. 10:55 a.m. Bobby, it's 10:55 a.m. And I was just like. Technically, sir, it's two fifty-five p.m. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just taking advantage of the early bird special, you know. Like, exactly. I'm an old timer. It's what we senior do. discounts. Senior discounts. I'm taking advantage of all of it. You know what I mean? So, oh, oh Mr. Sean, Sean Capri. In the house. Look at this, Sean Capri. Sean, Sean I just want to let you know that I have, uh, I have let everybody know, Sean, that you and I will be fighting tomorrow. And I'm uh, on your side, Sean. Good luck. And and it's going to be a battle. So be prepared, Mr. Capri. You better come with uh, everything you got. With I me. wish you good fortune uh, on the wars to come, Sean. <clears throat> okay, so here's a good question. Sam okay. Banks wants to know what we think about Mario Kart Mobile. Why is everybody hating on this? Uh, he's just asking what we think I, about it. Because you know what? I, I know, but that's my reaction. Like, my reaction was, oh, this is awesome. And then I see Twitter and everybody's just trashing it. Because everybody's assholes. It's like, it's like if this was reverse Labo. It's like... Dude, this is awesome. Like, this is to me. Um, I called it once Nintendo did it back in the day, which is once they announced they were going to do smart game, smartphone games. Smartphones are the new Game Boy. That's how I see it. That's their new mobile line. Yeah. So, what is the 3DS? That's what I picture. What is the iPhone and, and Android? Yeah. And what is console games will be on the Switch? Yeah. That's how I. That's how I view this whole thing. Yeah. So I'm excited. My it, thing is this: if if people, if people that that take a moment, digress, yeah, think for two minutes, the Make mobile space is not for us. It's not no. for you. It's not for me. It's not for ninety percent of the people that are here in this chat. Yeah, we don't play typical mobile games. Mobile games are a bite size of what the console games are. Right. The mobile Nintendo strategy for mobile games is: let's give them a taste. Make them fall in love with it, and then go. Oh, I can go buy this thing on the Switch and get a full-on taste of it. You know, like I can mm-hmm. really understand what this is, and that's ultimately like what Nintendo's strategy is with mobile. Yeah. So I don't understand when people get upset when Nintendo announces a mobile game because listen, people, it's not for you. Just right. like when you were flipping out about Labo. And I was just trying to explain to you, like, it's not for you. Trust me, I got a lot of a lot of comments on that. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, if if, if we're not mobile gamers, and yeah. we're not, we're typically not mobile gamers, I don't understand why people get upset when Nintendo puts a game or a franchise into... Like, it makes sense. Yeah. A game like Mario Kart, everybody knows about, right? So here's, here's the theory. Of and how Nintendo. did you used to drive it on the Wii? Yeah, exactly. It's gotta be like exactly. that. Like, so, but here's the here's the down. theory of with Nintendo, right? So when everybody jumped on the Wii, mm-hmm. right, that was the blue ocean tactic and all that stuff. That was getting people like grandma off the couch playing mm-hmm. the Wii. A lot of people that owned a Wii also owned Mario Kart, right? Yeah. Now, those people that owned a Wii did not carry over to the Wii U. They ditched it. But they still know games yep. that Nintendo, because you can't, unless you live under a rock, you can't turn around and go like, oh, Nintendo, they did this this Mario Kart game. Um, I don't remember it, though. Like, if I played it, I'm going to remember it, tip, tip, you know, typically. Right. So the idea is, is now they announce it on mobile, and people go like, oh, wait a minute. I remember playing that on the Wii. I'm going to go, and I'm going to play it now on mobile. And then hopefully a good portion of those... And it happens. This is what I understand. It happens. Because you look at Pokemon Go, you look at Mario Run, you look at um, Fire Emblem. When Animal Crossing releases a full-fledged Animal Crossing game, forget about it, man. Yeah. Forget about it. It's you're going intru- to explode. You're introducing the casual base to your to your product and making yeah. it aware that you're relevant. You're, you're here. Yeah. And at the same exact time... Whether they jump on the switch, that's cool. That's a bonus, right? Um, but if they don't, you just make money off of what they're doing on the app. So, like to me, it makes perfect sense. 
And I'm not angry at something I haven't seen. Yes. So, like, when we talk about Labo, right, I'm like, well, it makes sense why the Super Mario serial is a thing, because now you have replacement parts for your Labo. Oh, good but God. You're in the be- jackass. In the beginning, <laughs> when, when I looked at Labo, like, my, my complaints I, I still think are valid. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't agree. But go ahead. Yeah, and, and that's good. We could agree to disagree. There were so no, many we people. No, we can't. You're wrong. I'm right, and it's that simple. That was my guys. I had need to say this. The first video I got a death threat on was about a kid's toy made out of cardboard. Wait, wait. wait. Somebody threatened your life. Someone threatened my life. I I don't I don't remember the the comment because I want to get those out of my head. But yeah. it was all about like finding me and killing me. And I was just like, I just saw it, and I was just like. And that one needs to go, and that person needs to get picked. <laughs> and they need to evaluate themselves. Oh, I would like, screenshot of that. I'd have saved that for prosperity, man. No, no, I, I don't, I, because when, when you do that, it just in, it emboldens them, right? It, no, no, it just, no, 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 no. What I do is okay. So Sean Capri will admit that I do this a lot. Okay. So when I first started streaming, people would come in and attack me, right? And like make fun of me. I mean, and that's I would, easy like, to do. Yeah, pretty much. I don't even think that's changed, Bobby. But I like, but what I do is I start like talking to them. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, one day the guy was like, oh, what's wrong with your hair? And I was like, what hair? I don't, (laughs) I don't have any hair. What are you talking about? And he's like, there's, there's hair there. I'm like, the stubbles? Like, there's nothing, there's nothing here. What are you talking about, dude? Like, stop. Like, relax. And then next thing I know, he's, like, coming to all my streams, and he's watching them. He's had, <laughs> and the guy was making fun of me, calling me Ronald McDonald, and I'm like... Why I, Ronald McDonald? I think because I'm a fat bastard, and I, he, oh, he, thought okay. I, he thought I liked McDonald's. <laughs> and I was just like, hey, I'm allowed to like a Big Mac. Like, relax, bro. Like, yeah, this okay. one guy, this one guy called me Mr. Piggy. And I kept that comment up, and I'm like, Mr. Piggy, I go, no, 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 sir, just call me Pig, uh, or uh, Pig, because Mr. Pig's my dad's name. Oh, I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, people don't realize, like, to me, I'm just like, do they not know that I know? Like, Yeah, and they're like, like dude, I'm the, one that, I'm the one that has to crowbar my ass on the toilet. Like, <laughs> I, I know we have... I have issues here. Like, stop. Exactly. Like, I don't need you. Hey, to Bobby, tell me. I lost 15 pounds, by the way. Did you really? Yeah. I lost some weight, too. Joseph, All if you haven't noticed. These comments made me cry so much. I, I, if you haven't noticed, I've been wearing my wedding ring in, in some of my videos. Yeah. I, don't, I, I wasn't able to get this on my hand for a while. Oh. For a long time. So I was like, hey, I kind, I kind of love my wife. So I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> it's I'm a little bit kind of. I'm yeah. gonna put the ring on and 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 show her that like, hey, I give a damn about you. <laughs> and and then I can tell all the all the chubby chasers like, ladies, Listen. back off. Yeah, no, the like it's on now. <laughs> when, it, when it comes back to Labo, yeah. <laughs> to me, like I, I think a lot of those those complaints are are, are still valid to me. Yeah. I understand. It, I, I've been wrong before. All right, let, okay. And I'm not going to be quick, upset if I'm wrong. But the one while. thing, let's 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 talk this out. I yeah. want to hear your complaints, or because I want to I want to have an opportunity face to face to tell you you're full of shit. So come all right. on. All right. Well, I forgot all my 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 cue cards. I didn't know I was going to be put on the let's spot. Go. You're you're put on the spot. Let's go. Come on. So, um, as as a as a grown ass man, I I understand that this product isn't for me, right? Again, I bought this cereal. It's not for me, but I bought it anyway. I know, I know this. This. Who this are is you gonna... bullshitting, dude? Wait a minute. Yeah. Is is Lucky Charms not for you? Well, is you shouldn't Frosted have flakes? it. Is Frosted many... Flakes? Uh, that's not the point. Is Frosted Flakes not for you? No, and I don't need it because I'm a grown ass man. You're full of crap too. You're full. I of love crap. honey bunches of oats. You're you're oh, you're sick. Great you're source sick, of vitamin dude. B and C. Uh, go ahead. Bobby, go ahead. Let me tell you something. I've been. I, I switched to almond milk. That's how grown ass man I am now. You're no, you're in that weird rut stage where you're just like, I think I need to eat healthy. Give it a couple years. Oh yeah, well, eat. I tuned into the Grammys, Bobby, and I had no idea what any of these people were or what they were saying. That's pretty. That's pretty bad, dude. Yeah, I'm the same way, dude. I watch them award shows anymore. And I'm like, who, who, who yeah. are these people? Like, it's bad. Go ahead. Anyway, so go, okay, so you realize that this thing is not for you. Yes. But so I, 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 here I, comes a proverbial I, but. That I understand the hell out of you, but that. No, no, no. I, I and I understand that. And so when I was looking at Labo from from the outset, I know this isn't for me. 
Mm-hmm. And then watching it, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, Nintendo's doing it. And though I do award them for doing crazy and wacky stuff, mm-hmm. what I do see is this particular has the possibility of leaving a stain on what the Switch is and what the Switch is about to the outside community or to us gamers, the hardcore who bought this. Like, I'm not convinced that a lot of the Switch audience right now are majoritively or, or majority are kids. I think the people yeah, who most. adopt this system are hardcore gamers. Now, stop, and let I, me stop you there. Let me okay. stop you there. Okay. So don't you think that makes sense for Nintendo to do? To go, we're right now selling to the millennials, to the younger adult, and all that stuff. We need to start selling back to our base. Their base is and forever will be kids. But they recognize going into Switch, we need to sell to adults. But it can sell to two sides. Right. And still work. But because the at the end thing- of the day, that's the one thing that, that Sony and Microsoft are lacking. They're mm-hmm. lacking the entry point. And they that's where Nintendo man. excels. That's all you need. What's that? All you need is knack one, knack two. Oh, yeah. Your kids your uh, kids have fun for an yeah. hour. Imagine that. Oh, yeah. No, but what, but what I see is this, is, this, is this balancing act that Nintendo doesn't have to do. Right? So, like, to me, the one thing I don't want to see is the Wii U-like advertisements we saw with the Wii U, where it was all kids. I think you want to keep on enticing the the millennials. You want to keep on enticing the twenty year olds. Like to me, as a kid, I had an Xbox, and the reason why I had an Xbox is because my older brother had an Xbox. Mm-hmm. Like that's the type of the, the argument I'm setting is you could do Labo. I think you just I think should have waited until the the install base is a little larger and a little bit more diverse because I don't million think people. How many more you want? Well, I, I, I don't even think that's large enough. You're so crazy. I, I, don't, I don't think so. I know it's a crazy argument. Again, I'm not in my right state of mind. But to me, I think if you want to introduce Labo, I think you do this later down the line. I would have much rather seen what's going up with. And, and I think the, the problem is what's going on with the Switch right now? Mm-hmm. Like what do, what do consumers, all of them have in common? And what, what's the one question is? What's coming out this year? Right? Yeah, and we dude, know Yoshi. Yeah, but, but the thing of it is. No is like, Kirby. That's like, I, I feel like, and here's the thing. I feel yeah. like that is such a cop out. Because when uh, Microsoft tells you what's coming out this year, then we can sit down and have this conversation. Because they're ten times worse off than we are. Oh, but the, and the, and you see where the conversation is right now. Mm-hmm. Where when it comes to PlayStation and Xbox, everybody's, every it's, it's. It's sad almost to the point of pathetic where we're starting to look at at, at Xbox going like, so you're going to start buying some studios? Like, what's happening? Yeah, you guys are getting your asses Like, kicked. people have lost hope in Xbox because, again, we waited for the games. And they yeah. ca- started getting delayed, delayed, canceled, pushed yeah. back, 2018, 2019. Yeah. With the PlayStation, it's, okay, let's do this. Our first year, you know, was, I'll admit it, it was slow for mm-hmm. the Xbox One and, and PlayStation 4. But then we got to, in 2015, we got some really amazing games that, that oh my God, like, you know, Bloodborne, uh, The Order, oh uh, God. <laughs> you know, uh, Until Dawn. He had all these games that were starting to show, and then the Sony arm was starting to really publish some really amazing games. And what I want is, for, for Nintendo, and I, and I think the why so many people had a problem was, Hey, listen, this Labo thing, cute, but what's like, what's the serious thing here? Because have, I just see, bought the thing. Like, dollar thing. But that's the thing, like, you have all your serious stuff. Look, at what I view this is, what I view Labo is, yeah. is at Christmas time, a whole bunch of kids just got a Switch. Sure. Like, dude, just yeah. go on YouTube and type in kids opening Christmas Switch. And, like, you'll get, like, it's insane the amount of feeds and videos that show up. Now, that said, what's the best way to keep moving switches? Kids. Kids talking in school. 
Like, that's what sold so many Switches during Christmas was all these kids. It was the cool thing to have. So right. now you keep pushing that narrative further and further and further. But you know what? Because- the, the beauty of it, though, Bobby, is you have this beautiful moment where you have people like me who want to get back into Nintendo. Like, yeah. Mario didn't change for me. Mario's been Mario. Yeah. And that game's amazing for me as a 26-year-old man and for a 6-year-old who's a kid. Legend of Zelda is still an amazing game, breathtaking, no pun intended, and it's amazing to a 26-year-old and a 6-year-old, yeah. and so to me, like, we understand what Nintendo is, I understand it, you know, it's a kid system, but all these games, they speak to everyone, and I think the problem with Labo is it, is that it, for the first time, and I'm, I'm not saying that I share the sentiment, but for the first time, where you have all these guys, all these grown men excited for Nintendo again, all of a sudden you have, this isn't for you. And you're like... Yeah, but, okay, so here's my question to you. Right. It's almost like everything has to be for you. And well, and, and why can't it have multi-purpose? Why can't it be multifaceted? That's but my, what I don't understand. Yeah, well, so, so my thing with Labo is, like, and my argument is, you could put out a game. You could put out, you know... Uh, you could put out a Kirby, a Yoshi game, or a Super Smash, whatever the case may be, you can announce it and everybody's going to be excited. Yeah. Right? Everybody. And and you have everybody, like, excited for something. For the, for the Labo, I just don't see, as a parent, where this fits. Yeah, but, okay, at, you're saying that, but are you a parent? I could be Bobby. No, no, no. <laughs> I might. Are you? Don't say no. that. No, 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 no. You, Because you said that in your video, and it comes yeah. off almost, because the way you say it and you move, it comes off like, well, I am a parent. Oh, yeah. you know what? That, that is, yeah. I am not a parent. Yeah. So you don't I, have that I right to say that. I misspoke in that video. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. I heard that, and you're right. So yeah. I apologize. So, so technically, when you make a comment like that, like, you don't I should have said if I was. Because That's the one thing I was like, oh, yeah. Continue. I mean, you just rolled out of diapers last week, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm making this argument looking like this, Bobby. <laughs> exactly, baby face Finster over here. Like uh, the thing of it is, is like when you're when for me, I look at this and I go, I don't see where all the complaints are coming from for people like you. And and the reason why I say that is, is dude, you got Skyrim, you just right. got Dark Souls, or I'm the announcement of Dark Souls. You're getting Bayonetta. You're getting mm-hmm. like all these mature games. Hitting Wolfenstein's coming. We got Doom. We got all these mature games that that's what everybody wanted. Yeah, that's true. That's a good argument. So yeah. now they fed us. They've given okay. us our, our our meat and potatoes. Now why not as a company diversify? And the one thing that I heard you say in your video mm-hmm. was like, well, this is going to be like an amiibo or a, a Lego. Let me explain something to you. Yeah. The price point thing, anybody that's pointing at the price and going like, oh, that's too expensive. Apparently, you didn't buy Lego Dimensions. Apparently, you didn't buy the, the starter kit for Super I did Nintendo. not. Yes. Dude, they were $100, bro. Yes. $100 for the starter kit at Lego Dimensions. So, anybody that's saying that this starter kit for Labo is too expensive, shut your face. I you think $80 what you're is talking a lot. About. Are you it's saying? Not, but it's not. Dude, yeah. you're getting... You're getting all the all the the cardboard cutouts. That's one thing. That's but that's right. not even that's not part of the pricing. You're right. getting here's the way I look at it. You're getting a game, mm-hmm. right? So you're getting a game with a multi. How much is? Let's just look at the game that's comparative to it, which right. is one two switch, right? That's multiple games on it. That's why I'm saying it. It's a multitude yeah. of games on there. Yes, that's fifty bucks, right? So is for it? A fi- at launch, it was fifty. Okay, I thought it was 60. 60 and I I think, okay, so we'll say, I'm just saying 50 to be fair. Yeah, but let's be, say, I, we'll say, we'll right. say 60. So that game launches 60 bucks. Labo's $10 more. Right. So you're getting the cardboard cutouts, whatever like strings and rubber bands and, and all the plastic attachments and all that stuff to build the kit afterwards. It's really not that expensive. It's no, I, and and when I and again when I look at Lego Dimensions and I shelled out a hundred dollars for that starter kit, for a portal, and a couple stupid little Lego figurines that dude I could buy I could buy the Lego figurines for four bucks. Of course, yeah. And you know what I mean and a game. So when you look at that, you go, okay, it's the whole experience. Now, mm-hmm. moving forward, you've bought the starter kit, 
And if as Nintendo goes like, hey, remember that house you just built for the, for whatever? Yeah. Here's some DLC that you can do and do put different things in the house. Or hey, remember that that, that uh, robot walker you have? Here's this for it now. Right. Hey, remember that robot suit you bought? Now here's Punch Out whatever. And now you're actually playing Punch Out with this whole setup. Like there's, I feel like there's it's a way to diversify and do things forward. Now. Sure. People that point at it and go like, "Oh, well, it's cardboard, and cardboard's cheap." Have you, have you, have you really messed with cardboard? Because I got news for you. I worked in the shipping industry yeah. before I went to the job I'm at now, and we were hauling flowers in a box, and that them boxes were very sturdy. Yeah. My 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 papa, ex- my papa, my other mm-hmm, papa, mm-hmm. he works out. He 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 does a printing press. Down in South Jersey, and he 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 prints on all types of cardboard. Yeah. I, now, the I, other I thing, thing about I'm I'm passionate about paper, Bobby. Patrick, I'm gonna bet you, we're gonna make a bet that this does pass 2018 because I think you're wrong. I think it's gonna, gonna pass 2018 for sure. Yeah. I think this first wave is gonna be super successful. Yeah. People I are gonna think... go back to my video, tell me how wrong I am, yeah. and then in a year after, when set two doesn't sell and set the three's thing, a dud. The, the thing of it is, is it's already selling like gangbusters. It's already one of the top sellers across the board. The thing of it is, is I think yes, I think in three four years this thing's dead. It's it is. A, a toys to life thing. It is a very short term, very. But if anybody's going to do it and make it work, it's Nintendo, which is a very conservative company. So for me, when it went, and, and here's the thing I got back on board with I was listening to what podcast was I listening to? Whatever. They were big, so they don't need any credit. They're good enough. Yeah. Um, I was listening to a podcast. I forgot who had said this, but. A part of the the new tutorial set or whatever the the base version the sixty nine ninety nine yeah the variety um, pack the variety pack comes with a programming tool mm-hmm. and the cool thing is like you get to the with, with this program you get to program your own like whatever the case may be you you get to use the cardboard and you get to program it with different functions yeah and that to me I was like okay that's really cool. That's where I see this thing is actually, and again, now I know this isn't for me. That is awesome, and I'm like, the okay, thing, I really like this now. That's the thing that got me on board. <laughs> thing, Cardboard. Well, well <laughs> and, and to answer Joel, because he's saying yeah. I can say as a parent, I won't be spending money on it. Um, and that's 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 fair for you to say, but then again, you're in Canada, and I, that's like an eight hundred dollar buy, and I understand why you're not going to buy it. I totally get it. Like I understand. <laughs> I, I saw I saw Sean Capri's like should I do it? And it was Monster Hunter, eighty yeah. bucks, and I'm like, oh, boy, I don't know. <laughs> it's nuts, it's a man. great game, but holy crap! Let me tell you what, like so so as we're we're in we're in a Patreon, right? Make us better. Yeah. And what happens is each month the money all gets paid to me, and then I divvy it out to everybody. Sure. The crazy thing is PayPal changed the way they do it, and I can actually see what people are getting now. Like so, I put in the 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 dollar amount that I want to give them, and then they convert it before, and I get to see what the conversion is. Crazy. So like, Sean, I'll give him like whatever, and it's like astronomical what he's (laughs) getting, right? And then I look at Toby, and Toby's getting like peanuts. Yeah. And then like you're getting like you and I are getting like what it actually normal people, buddy. Yeah, (laughs) but it's so funny because I'm like, damn, like Sean could buy a house with the money I'm giving him. And and like that's a mortgage payment I'm sending up to him and Sean, and, and Toby's like he could buy probably buy a cup of coffee and that's about it you know so um, yeah it is it's, it it's is. crazy it's crazy so, conversion but, rates yeah it's it's nuts but okay so going back yeah I personally I feel like this is the right move for Nintendo to make with Labo I don't feel like it hurts them in any sense if anything. What I feel Labo does is it shows developers, hey guys, this is some stuff that you can do with this because, man, it's showing off the tech. And that's yeah. the one thing that drives me up the wall. Mm. For four years, I had to listen to, what's the Wii U? Where, what, what's the killer app? What does it do? Where's all the stuff? And here's Nintendo now going like, 
hey guys, all that stuff you did with the Switch, oh, by the way, here's some tech stuff that you can do with it. And, like, you slide this thing in. In those people's those... defense, what could you do with the Wii U, Bobby? Well, the problem with that was... <laughs> no, no, no. And, and, and to be honest, I, I feel like the tale of the Wii U gets changed right. if Mario Maker and Splatoon are launch games. If those games yeah. are launch games, that whole narrative disappears. Yeah. Because then immediately people see like, oh, I can build a, a level with this tablet. Yeah, because then like if, if 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 Super Mario, if New Super Mario Brothers, yes. Triple Deluxe Wii, Double Dash, whatever nonsense they called that first game. Yeah. If that game doesn't come till later, and that first two D Mario is Mario Maker, I think we're telling a totally different. Oh tale yeah. For the Wii then that then yeah then we because wouldn't even be talking about like, a Switch oh, right now. Oh, I see what you do with the tablet. Yeah. Yeah. But that was this narrative, and now here's Nintendo going like, hey, all the stuff we showed you, now you can do this additional stuff. Yeah. Like, dude, that IR camera that actually slides in this side, and now I can play a piano because yeah. it's reading what keys I'm hitting, that is insane, man. And and, and that's that's one thing, if you watch my, my latest video about the Switch um, that I hit so hard on, is like with the Switch, they showed you what you do with this thing from the bat, and they gave you an experience that was perfect for it. That's what's so different, and that's what the Wii U did so poorly. Was like we got ports right out the gate, and it was like, oh, Mass Effect Three. I played this seven months ago, and Zombie well, U, fantastic. The problem, the problem with the Wii U was this: mm -hmm. the the third parties that were helping develop weren't helping develop. No, they so were not. They put out Mass Effect Three on on the Wii U, and then oh, by the way, on PS Three. And on, on Xbox 360, we're getting Mass Effect Trilogy, yeah, a remaster, all three games in one. Why did you do that? You're getting Arkham Arkham City. A year late, right? A year late, and it's this weird version of it that's not that good. Oh, boy. Um, there was just a continuation of that type of stuff. So it was like, and then the problem was, was third parties really didn't want to develop for Nintendo. And then when people weren't buying it, they turned it on Nintendo fans and go like, oh, Nintendo fans don't buy anything but Nintendo games. Yeah, hello, Switch. Give mm -hmm. me that narrative now. Like, I think EA, EA would try to sell you a narrative on it because well, FIFA yeah. and 2K. But it's like, give us good but games. And see, that's the whole point. But did you see that with FIFA... They actually sold more versions on the Switch than I think they said on the PS4. No way. That's awesome. It might have been like in a designated area. It could have been in Europe mm -hmm. or something like that. But it did. It sold a boatload of versions of it. I feel so and bad then, for all those people. And then look at Capcom. Like, here's Capcom going like, oh, we're not sure what we're going to do over here. And now I guarantee you they're kicking themselves in the ass that they didn't bring Monster Hunter Worlds. To the Switch. Well, I don't, I don't think that game could. could uh, I'll be honest. From what I've mm -hmm. seen of it. It, I, it I, time will tell. Time will tell. Um, I think I think we could see a little. I know there's a mon. Yeah, someone's a, a ribo. There's a Monster Hunter in Japan. Bring it over here. Bring it, over it, something. It, it, Monster Hunter Double Cross. That'll yeah. be coming. That they have already announced that that's coming to Switch. Yeah. Um, and but right now it's only Japan or something, right? That's, well, so. okay. So Double Cross in Japan was on the 3DS. Oh, okay. They're making so they're it for the it. Switch. They're going to make it for the Switch. And then that'll go in Japan because Monster Hunter is a far better, not a far better. It for, sells uh, far yeah. better in Japan than it does in the United States. Yeah, it's, it's practically its own holiday when it comes out. It's like it's like all the old school RPGs used to be. Yeah. that's just the way it used to be. Like you, I listened to Eight Four Play, that podcast, and they they're based out of Japan, oh. um, and they man they talk about when Monster Hunter comes out, it's like it's like crazy. Um, it's a great oh, game. Oh, okay. It's a great okay, game. in Japan. So the FIFA outselling was ah. in Japan. All right, that so makes sense. It sold more units in which that's huge, man. That's that Yeah, but the, the handheld that's you know, that's that's I get what that. everybody, you know. I get that, but what I'm saying is is like that to me turns around and says to EA, blow it up your ass cuz you're <laughs> you're wrong with what you're saying. Right. You're saying that it didn't sell well. It did sell well sold well in Japan. So it's just a matter of time and all that stuff. But, it, you know, that's neither here nor there. But I think Double Cross coming over would be huge for Nintendo. Let me let me ask you a question, Bobby. Just switching the subject a little bit here. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts on, on the, uh, the Mario movie? Because I was talking to my friend about this. We were having sushi. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, I'm really excited about the Mario movie. And they're like, oh, no. Why? 
<laughs> because Why, it's because it's, it's studio. No, well, no, because when you hear video game and then movie, you think of first yeah, off, Super Mario first Brothers. Off, the studio that's doing it, right? Done so all has done what Despicable Me and the Minions mm-hmm. and all that stuff. They're a top notch studio. Yeah, they, they do good work. Um, they're great they, at animation. Like ultimately, like would would it be better if Disney had them? I think so. Oh but yeah. Disney doesn't have them, and I understand yeah. what they're what they're doing and all this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, so I get it. I understand where we're going with all this. Uh, Deadly is pacifist, man. Thank you so much for uh, for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, so for me, I look at it and I go, like, I get it. Why they're where they are? It's the same reason why. It's the same reason why Hulu is on. Um, the Switch right now, and, mm-hmm. and Netflix and all them aren't. Why? Because NBC, Universal, Comcast, they own Hulu. Yeah. They own Universal Studios. It's just the partnership. It's, yeah. the, it's the way that it's going right now. So I totally get that aspect of it, of why they're doing what they're doing. That said, um, I'm fine with them doing the yeah. studio. And, and I I'm think really that, excited. Like, I think so, too. It's an animated movie, which... Again, it's a kids movie, but I'll go see it. I don't care. Like oh, I watch, dude. I watch animated movies. Like it's it's nobody's business. You I'll know put on my Splatoon hat right now. I gotta give. Us That's ass, what I man. want. I want a Splatoon movie. Oh man, let me tell you something. I would be like to me with the, like Illumination. Like Holy yeah, God. would we rather want Disney? I think <laughs> Disney's on fire right now. It's easy to say that, but he's always on fire. Yeah, but to me, um. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Illumination makes great work. Yeah, like they, yeah. they just make great movies. Like I loved Secret Life of Pets. That's a fantastic movie. Despicable yeah. Me's not my jam, but I can under I when I see that, I'm like, yes, I know kids are gonna go to this thing because Despicable yeah. Me. Yeah. And so, like to me, I'm like, okay, this this company has a laundry list of movie, movies up their sleeve, uh, a, a billion dollar franchise up their sleeve. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm okay with this a lot. Like. Again, I saw on the internet kind of skewed because it's like, oh no, video game movie, and I'm like, yeah, but it's actually a respectable studio. You know, we're not gonna get the Doom movie, guys. Yeah. So this is, I'm actually, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm definitely all for it. I think yeah. that this is something that can, that can, that can work, and mm-hmm. I feel like moving forward, it's, it's definitely what's gonna happen. The only thing that will drive me up the wall, and I know it's gonna happen, and I know the Nintendo fans are a bunch gonna be a bunch of babies about it. But what's going to happen is when the Zelda movie comes out, I want Link to have a voice. I am so sick to death of him being a mute deaf and not talking. I want him to have a voice. And I yeah. know it'll happen. Oh, he can't have a voice. Why? Why? Because the Phillips game I never played. No, and you know what it is? It's the cartoon yeah. back in the 80s. Exactly. Excuse me, Princess. Like, so what? So what? It was the 80s. It was the, the time of cheesiness. Like, yeah. That's what it was. Like, let it go, man. Just, I'm, just I'm, I think let, that uh, let I the past it, die. Kill it if you have to, Bobby. I really listen. They made a huge leap when they put voice acting in the newest Zelda. Yeah, I wanted to go a step further. I wanted Link to talk in that one, but it's fine. You know what I mean? Like, I'll take what I can get. I got the little bit. I'm good yeah. with that. Um, so we'll see what happens. I, I would love. Yeah, like I would like. Like I, I, I know the one thing is like. Let's be honest with each other, guys. Mario's gonna have a lot more lines in this movie, right? First off, Charles Marinette, like, give him the job. Like, there just talks about other people. Like, no, there is no other talks. There are no other people. You right. Give it to Charles Martinet and let him go with it, man. Yeah, if it's animated, I mean, Bobby, who's Batman? Who's Batman? Ben yeah. Affleck. No, Kevin Conway. Exactly, Kevin, yeah. and that's why Kevin Conway, again, right? Yeah, Kevin Conroy, yeah. Yeah. So like to me if if, if, if yeah, you know, give it to him because he's, he's to me he's going to have lines. So just yeah. let him have more lines. Yeah. And it might be weird at first, but you got to get used to it. It's, things have to change, man. Not only that, you know, like, I, anybody that's played Luigi's Mansion on yeah. the 3DS, dude, he knocks it out the park in that game. Like, mm. dude, that Luigi's Mansion Jams, if they, if Nick's, please, Nicholas Cage, my balls. Um, if the thing of it is, is like with Nick with, uh, with oh, God, God. No, God no, not the Goombas, um, not the Goombas. The thing, <laughs> the thing of it is, is like when you look at what they did with um what he, what they did in in Luigi's Mansion, like 
Dude, there's parts where he's like walking through and he's talking to himself, and then like you hear the music playing, and then he yeah. starts like humming the tune with it and all that stuff, and like it's really ingenious. And I think the guy is such a good actor, or, like a voice actor. Yeah, like, let him go, to him. man. Give he's had he's had he's had decades of this role. Yeah, man. If they give no. it to anybody else, that would upset me, and that's where uh, I'd be like, all right, man, we got a problem here. Nintendo Family Gaming, I gotta. I, we have one problem with Adam West being the voice actor. He's dead. <laughs> Rip. He's dead. And, but the other problem is, it's like God, no. no. <laughs> I'm not. See, that's the thing. Like as a Batman fan, I am right. not an Adam West fan. No. And 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 I and it, I I drive it home to this point that like. That 1966 Batman almost killed comic books and Batman. And for people to have revisionist history and act like it's the second coming of Christ, you're so... I loved it so much. I hated it as a kid. I hated it as a kid. And I was just like, because this isn't Batman. Yeah. This is, this is, I'm hoping And when people say, uh, what's his face, um, is, is the best Joker... Uh, What, Cesar Romero? Yeah, The guy that was sucked, that didn't even take it seriously, he didn't even shave his mustache? Exactly. Please. Exactly. I'm like, Please. come on now. Uh, get it, out of here. Come on. Listen, it's it's Hamill friends. and it's, yeah. I'm Facebook friends with Adam West. I was when he was alive. But, like, I, he friended <laughs> me. We're friends on Facebook. Like, but I'm telling you, I, he was not a good Batman. Real, I don't know if that was the real deal. It was him. I didn't think it was at first. And then I oh, did really? some research and I was like, oh, wow, this is Adam West. This is really Bobby, him. I'm a fan. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was loving me. He liked one of my posts and I, like, fr- flipped out. Oh, and my mom's like, well, what's the big deal? I'm like, this is... Mom, it's Batman. Like the Batman I didn't respect as a child. The Batman I hated just liked my stuff. Like that's the thing. Like when he became Mayor West, that's when he came back. That's yes. when the resurgence has happened. Yes, but it's not. You know, Joel, I'm gonna kick you out of the chat, man. Seriously, stop with this Batman stuff. I'll do it. I will give you the. <laughs> I will give you the permission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Listen, yeah. I have a Batman wedding band, so I have the right. To say, you have the authority. You know I have the authority on this to, to, to say what's on my mind when it comes to Batman. Um, That's why what I say about Star Wars, it's all gospel. It's all true. Yeah, all exactly. of it. I had, you know, I still haven't watched the newest one. What? I was about to say, Bobby, how'd you like it? I, I, you know what, man? I got jammed up and I totally missed it. Bobby. It's out of the theaters now, right? Or is it still in the No, it probably still is. I wouldn't be surprised. You see, I might go watch show. it tomorrow, maybe. Maybe I'll go over there by myself and yeah. check it out and, and kick my Because I'm I like there's so it. many memes that I have spoilers of that I'm like, okay, once the once the movie releases. I don't know, like to me I'm like, okay, this is this this is an event, a phenomenon. You yeah. got a month to watch it and then I'm gonna start posting no, stuff. See, I think you're wrong. I think you gotta wait till it comes out on D V D first. No, because at this point, I'm sorry, Bobby, I'm calling you out. You you're not a hardcore fan, so this doesn't really affect you, you know. Oh, Joel, you are you are trash, Joel. What's he saying? You, he said Superman's better. What are you on crack? <sighs> are you on drugs? Yeah, I know. It's just, I've never heard such a wrong thing in a very long time. I am I am so disappointed. The Oof. more you talk right now, Joel, Honestly, the more respect I'm losing. The lies that are coming out of this man, it's this ridiculous, man's mouth, man. Might as be he might as well be doing the State of the Union. Have you never sure. have you never read The Dark Knight Returns, my man? When when Batman lumped him up and whooped his candy ass all over the place, like that was amazing. I don't know. Damn, it's Batman. Exactly. Always um, Batman. <laughs> you gonna give me this? Superman's better. It's. Yeah, no, I don't know what you're thinking over there. Ugh, God. I don't know what you're, what you're thinking. Um, Joseph, we've been yeah. going for a little bit here. Let's. Uh, anything you want to say before we wrap it up? Oh man, so um, I, I got some news for you guys. Oh goodness, uh, this was about to fall off. No, I got some big news. So first oh, off, you can follow me at Bad Bad Games on YouTube. We are we are 298 subs away from being able to be monetized again. Oh, Thanks good God. YouTube. 298 subs? Yes. Man, you got to get on that. Uh, you, you need to get on that Planet bump Nintendo those, podcast. Bump those numbers up. Because because Planet Nintendo podcast, let me tell you something. Yeah. We went in there, and we had two guys at 1,000. Hmm. And we were like, guys, we need we need Joe after work to hit 1,000. And I think after like a month, he did it. Like We got him up <sighs> over the hump. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, he when we first got together, he was sitting around... Six or seven hundred subs. 
So you guys are looking for a host? Is that what you want me to replace the Joe for a week? That's well, you know, we're just, you know, it's, <laughs> there's a lot of begging that has to happen. Um, what? <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. You know, it's um, you know, uh, so and it's not my show, man. It's Patrick's show. So yeah, just, it, bef- uh, before we go, because I'm having a, such a good time. In short, what are what are your thoughts on the YouTube thing? Okay, so because you're really upset, but you've made it. You're you're in I'm, the clear. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. Okay, so I have two channels. I have the Geek Guru, where I started to shift some stuff over to, and I was trying to start to build that. I wanted to start building that channel up again. Right. That channel's axed now because they've they've cut it on me, so I can't do anything over there. I mean, yeah. I can. I had bigger issues with YouTube in terms of um, the copyright stuff than I do with the monetization. Because here's the thing: like at the end of the day, I don't make any money off of YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's pennies, it's nickels, it's dimes. You know, what yeah, I mean? like, you make a nickel getting, every video, and and it, it takes a hundred dollars to get paid out. You know what I mean? So I don't get nothing from them. It, it, I can't even tell you. The only time I ever got paid was when I was with Nintendo, um, and I was getting money every every month, mm-hmm. and it started out and I was getting like fifty cents. I got a couple seven centers. I maxed out at seven dollars. That was the most money I ever got paid. Ooh. Um, and I was like doing a, the, the Irish jig up in the house, man. I was like <laughs> flipping out. Um, but like Tony, me, don't worry about that mortgage. Yeah, exactly. I got the mortgage covered this week, babe. Um, but it's for me, it wasn't a matter of that. It's I feel like this. So probably what what, what could you say Logan Paul is like the third or fourth top. You know, Douchebag? YouTuber. Oh, like, that's the word. Like, I think he's, I mean, he's probably the number two, honestly. Um, uh, he's the, probably, the way you, he's the fastest growing. He's the fastest growing. Yeah. He's probably arguably the best YouTuber as far as, like, revenue. Like, sure. PewDiePie has more subs. This guy has more views. Like, and at the end of the day, subs don't mean anything. Views are where the Also, that guy's are. bald. Don't even freaking kid yourself. You see how his hair is? Who? That kid, that guy's super conscious about his hair. That guy's bald. That's fine. But here's the thing. So, let's say it's one not. of the top YouTubers yeah. does something wrong, and you punish the little guys. PewDiePie, yeah. PewDiePie drops the N word in a stream, mm-hmm. and what happens? We stop monetizing streamers on YouTube. Um, PewDiePie. Which I don't agree with this, with the whole he's he's a Nazi stuff. Like I don't no, agree with just, that at just, all. He just said some things that were stupid, and it was a bad joke. That whole Fiverr thing that he did. But again, that oh yeah, happens. that's real bad. That's that, real. I know, but it wasn't. But the yes. thing it was is he was making a joke, and it was because it was that there was a guy holding the sign that said "Kill all Jews," yep. and that's all anybody showed, but didn't show the next sign that they flipped that said "Subscribe to Keemstar." So he was basically being, it was joking that Keemstar was doing it, not him. And it was all a joke that kind of got blown out of proportion. Yes. I don't feel like he's Nazi or anything like that. Mm. But at the same time, what he did was wrong. So I'm not I'm not saying that, like, I'm giving him a pass on what he did. But again, that happens. Who pays for it? The smaller YouTubers. So my problem is, is why do you punish the smaller guys trying to come in when it's the top guys that are doing the, the stuff bad? So the only reason that could come into my head, and again, I'm not defending it, is that like a lot of smaller channels will put it up either that video in full or them in the act, you know, the the other, you know, like Logan Paul or PewDiePie, and and they'll get a, a shit ton of views theoretically, yeah. and then they're they're making money off of the N word and yeah. yeah dead body and so but, but here's the deal here's the deal youtube you okay logan paul puts his video up right you leave it up yeah people reported the video youtube manually went in looked at the video and left it up yeah i post a video i do a stream and i'm playing music and they blocked my stream worldwide yeah and shut it down i couldn't even download the video to then go chop it up to make a 
like a, a greatest hits or a compilation video out of it. So that's where I start to have a problem. I post a video. Joseph, you were yeah. with me when we did the Google Hangout, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. We went in. We did a Google Hangout with the community. Got to, everybody that was a Patreon member got to hang out with us. Fantastic Talked show. for an hour. Had a great time. Got to talk to Preston and all these people. They, they yellow labeled that. They said it wasn't advertiser friendly. And I'm like, it's a conversation. Yeah. I think no profanity was used. Nothing bad was said. It was a conversation about it with a bunch of people just hanging out, just mm-hmm. talking, having a good time. You know now, what it is? I'm not making Preston any... was there, and YouTube can't handle Preston's exactly. awesomeness. Exactly. They're like, this is um, too much awesome in one video. But, Cut but, it down, boys. <laughs> but my at this point, I don't need a ride, though. I'm good with it. But thank you anyway. <laughs> but the thing of it is, is like, I look at it and I go like, Okay, here's all this stuff that we have, and I post a video. Do you realize I have videos, if we ran Nintendo podcasts that you and I did, that I still can't monetize? That I've that I've clicked for review, and because they don't have a thousand views, they're just taking their sweet-ass time to get to them, and they're still got the yellow sticker on some of my top videos and i'm going here just to just to take a look at them like how nintendo made me a nintendo kid again it's one of my my favorite videos actually to me it's the best video i've ever made Mm -hmm. um that that took three months for youtube to look at it and actually start monetizing it three months now i wouldn't have a problem with this but here's another thing that people don't recognize and don't realize when you get that yellow label it isn't like it's retroactive. So if I get that video in the first 24 to 48 hours is where all my views are going to come in. Yep. So if I put a video up and I get 500 views in that time and then they finally go like, okay, this is okay. I don't have 500 views. I start, I start making my, my count starts back at zero. And now the next maybe hundred that I get, get it. And that's yeah. BS. It's not right. So what happened was, was, I got mad and I tweeted about it. I did the live stream. They, I did, and and the kicker for me was I did an unboxing. Mm. So Adam Leonard, who's a big, big fan of his work, good friend of the show, good friend of mine. Um, he went. I, I pushed him to do T Public to start making shirts for T Public. Yes. I turn around. I take the shirts. I do a live unboxing because I'm like, hey man. Here it is, live. This is an easier way for me. Because here's the other thing. Like, when I'm showing stuff off, I hate doing unboxing videos because I'm like, I'm going to open this pin. Ah, oh, here you go. Blah, 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 done. And I go, all right. Oh, Bobby, you screwed us all on this video. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is if I go and I do it, right, and I'm doing it yeah. live, there's people that come in live that can go like, hey, what's the back of that pin look like? Yeah. What's the what's this look like? What is, and I can actually show it. You know what I mean? And I don't miss anything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'll, I'll, I won't miss the things I should probably be showing. So I thought live unboxings might be something cool that I could start to do that's different than what everybody else is doing. And it's my own little flair, my own spin on it. Yeah. It got the yellow label on it. And so I tweet about it. And I'm like, how in the world does an unboxing video get demonetized? Please, YouTube. That's why I stopped out. doing unboxing videos. And they're the funnest ones because it's... Yeah. To me, I just I just start whipping stuff, and people yeah. love it. Uh, yeah. So it, they turn to... around, and they say, well, go back and change the title on it, or whatever. And I go, no, 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 no. How about you don't make me do more work? You're How right. about you fix your algorithms to realize that unboxing is not a bad word? Like, what do you want me to change my title to? I'm unboxing. Something I'm less opening... offensive. Like, what do you want? Like, it's so Dude, ridiculous. Man. I think you hit it on the head when, when you were talking about, like, the music. Because that's all they care about. Like, cor- yeah. like YouTube has been corporatized to the fullest. And that's why the one thing, like, the reason why I've had my videos monetized from the start is because, let's just say, I have one, I have one channel that is totally, you know, backed by YouTube, monetize all the videos. And I have one channel that is totally non-monetized. I put out the same video. What video is going to get get the more hits? The one that's monetized or the one that's not monetized? Yeah. And the answer is monetized because that algorithm is going to go, what's going to make me money? 
right? What's, Self-interest. Yeah, what's the, Google, I'm Google. How am I going to make money? Oh, this video is doing good. We're going to start yeah. to spotlight it and push it forward so more people click it, more people watch it, and it makes more money. And so what happens to me now, because I'm unmonetized or will be unmonetized and it scares the crap out of me, is that now it's, okay, um, my videos, it's not by merit anymore. There is no level playing field. So now, to me, less people are going to come in and view my stuff. And that sucks because, yeah. to me, I take pride in, in my SEO and how, I, and how I'm able to, to, to get the hits I'm able to do. I'm really proud of that. And now knowing that there's not a level playing field, that one person is going to be ahead of me on SEO, and it's not out oh. of merit or skill. It's just mm-hmm. based on a 1,000 subs. Like, to me... That's where I'm pissed off. It's not the fact that my money, my paycheck that I've never gotten is yeah. never going to come. Oh, no. Yeah. It's the simple fact that some guy has the advantage and it's not because he makes better content or no. says something better. Because and that's what pisses me off. More, yeah. And, and yeah. that's BS. And, at, and at the same thing, when people are freaking out, if you're a small YouTuber out there, you're freaking out about 4,000 hours. Don't. Don't worry about no, it. That's easy. The, the that's hours easy. Are nothing. I, I, I'm there already. Yeah. So, like, don't even worry about it. Yeah, the hours you know? are really nothing. That's pretty easy to accomplish in a year. Yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's, the, it's the subs that are uh, tough. It, it, look, it's, it's tough. doable. Yes. I mean, like, when I put my mind to it and I was like, okay, I'm going to concentrate on YouTube. And I sat down with Tony and I was like, I was at, I think at the time I was at like 500 subs. And I was like, I want to get to 1,000 subs by the end of the summer. I was like, if I don't get there, I'm done with YouTube. And I did it. And it was like I made a conscious effort to like put videos every single day and have the content there and push forward yeah. and do what I was doing. And it worked out for me. And, and, and I got lucky. And, you know, thankfully, like I met guys like Patrick and, and all these guys. Um, 4,000 minutes. Yeah, it's not hours. Um, oh, no, I thought it. No, I thought it's hours because I think it's 250,000 minutes equate I was, to I thought it was minutes. 4,000 hours. I thought it was 4,000 minutes. I forgot. It but I make it. Hours. I don't know. I, I, I at this point, I could care less. So for, for me, well, my idea was this. So I had heard recently that Twitch is gunning for YouTube a little bit. And yeah. they're going to start opening up the content side of things. So my thinking was, was like, you know what? I'm going to try to stream over here. Because I just want to see what it's like. I had never streamed on Twitch. Yeah. So I did. I came over and I started streaming. And I, I was talking on Planet Nintendo Podcast. And... You know, we were we were discussing it, and I had said to Patrick, I was like, man, when I stream on Twitch, it's like driving a Corvette with all the gauges. You know I mean? <laughs> and then when I yeah. stream on YouTube, it's dry. Uh, it's like driving a Corvette with just one gauge. You know, and it, maybe it's a speedometer, or maybe it's a gas gauge, or whatever. I don't know what I'm really truly doing over there i have a feeling but i don't have a really true sense of it here i've got everything i know who's hosting my channel which by the way that is amazing the fact that's really cool people are on and i can i can auto host or they can auto host me and then guess what i'm sitting there and by the way here it is oh check it out check out my buddy over here he's got something he's doing right now this way it's almost like your channel is constantly doing something yeah at all times they acknowledge raids and they embrace raids, and it's like this is kind of cool. Like you can go in and do raids, and you get like you know they have the tipping system built right into their program, where YouTube doesn't. You know what I mean? Like YouTube, you gotta like do all this crazy stuff to get where you need to be. It's just so much better for me to be here and to be like, hey man, we're gonna try to make it happen here. So my idea was everything that I streamed. Yeah. This show and my and my my let's plays or my hanging out with the community playing, I'm gonna stream on Twitch. And then all my content will yeah. go over to YouTube. And that's simple. And yeah. when I look at when I look at guys like Greg Miller, you know, they're kind of funny, they've been doing that forever. Yeah. They stream on Twitch, they put their content goes to YouTube, and yeah. it's no big deal. And then guess what? I'm sitting primed location for when the, when when Twitch ever does finally turn around and go like, okay, guys, we're going to start doing content. Right. And then Which bang. right now you do have, there's a, there's a. It's different. It's called premieres. A, a prototype feel is like the proto stage of like, uh, uh, what is it called? I think it's called like producer or whatever. Premieres. 
pre-recorded. What's that? Premieres. And the problem with that is this. It's like, it, let's say I put this show up, right? Let's say I, I recorded this show and I put it up. It goes up kind of like it's a live event. Yeah. So people come to watch it and they get the feeling of like, hey, this is happening now and it's really not happening now. Mm. So they need See, to kind of change that up a little bit and yeah. fix that aspect. Up. See, what I'm what I'm thinking about doing with Bad Big Games is, is this. It's... Um, because of the premiere, yeah, it's it's you set a time and it's this whole big event. What I was thinking about doing was that at like every single like Friday or something like that, have all the videos that I've made a compilation of them and then just put them on on Twitch. Okay. So then instead of like a ten minute video, it's thirty minutes, and for the first like hour or two, I'm in the chat talking to people. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's a cool way of engaging, having the conversation that Bad Bit Games is all about, mm -hmm. and being on a platform that, that gets me started. Because, honestly, I'm fired up about Twitch. I really like the possibility I, of what Twitch could be, which is a true competitor, because YouTube so needs it. Sucks. I, I came here two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and, and I have to say, thank you so much to this community. This We have hands down the best rabid community that is going like these guys you ask them to support something and they just dive on it and it, they are so embracing on everything that we do i love each and every one of these guys seriously yeah. they are so awesome um i'm so glad to be a part of it man it, it, it really dude, it's, it's amazing it, it it's, really is like i talked to adam leonard before i came on here yeah and i was like hey man how's everything going he goes bobby he goes man i gotta tell you Thank you. He's like, the amount of people that have come to me because of you asking for logos and, and artwork and all that stuff, he's like, I am flabbergasted. With, <laughs> he goes, I, I'm, I'm blown away by the amount of people that are coming. And he goes, and they're all coming because you posted some stuff and said thank you and, and showed yeah. off my work. And and it's like, same thing with Jules. Like, dude, when I go, I was I was talking to Jules the one day and... um. Because we do that that little show called Behind the Scenes with Jules. Watch them. We oh, really? Where they can find that? <laughs> they can find that over YouTube.com forward slash Nintendo there Guru. There you go. Um, but I do that show with Jules, and we were talking, and I was like, Jules, do you realize that like when I look at the leaderboards and I go into my friends list, like I got almost 100 friends that bought that game. And he's like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, man. And I'm like, because these guys are just like amazing. You know? It's... And it, it, it's it's kind of like a family, man. That's how I. That's the the this past month has been like amazing. I like yeah. to, uh, get real personal with you guys. Um, seriously, this community it, it is. It's like a family. It's I I love talking to everybody on the Discord. I love talking to everybody. That's where I'm most active. I love I love seeing people post stuff on the Facebook group. You know, being and having this opportunity to be a part of make us better. At the capacity of which I am is a like an honor, and mm -hmm. everybody, and including you guys, have been so understanding to a crazy, insane amount. Like like the beginning of this month, like did not go the way I wanted <laughs> or expected, and like everybody was cool with it. It was like you know when I said like I don't know when my next video is because yeah. I have to handle this this grown up shit, and everybody's like go for it, you know it's it's awesome. And then to see me make videos, and then everybody's back on and watching and talking and communicating and just it's it is so awesome to see, you know it's it's so awesome and. And, and with that, I, d I do want to say I've been thinking about this idea, been floating it around. Um, so, A, Guru, I, I need a favor for you. If, if you have this, you know the pic the drawn picture of me? Mm -hmm. I might need that because what I was thinking about doing is we have like the Guru weight loss thing mm -hmm. happening, and um, which I love seeing everybody like so enthusiastic about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I had real talk. Real life stuff. Um, I, I I told you I lost 15 pounds mm -hmm. uh, in a month because my doctor, I went to get like, I have sleep apnea. And she goes, Joe, you, your breathing's an emergency. You need to come see me ASAP. Mm -hmm. And I go there and she's like, do you know that your heart stops 70 times? And I'm like, the night? And she goes, an hour. Holy crap. And I'm like... 
I got scared straight. <laughs> you know, so. I, Holy I was cow, dude. Yeah, and so so what I want to do, uh, and this is like a pre-announcement, I guess, is I want to do. Uh, uh, God, who was it? Jason Lacey, or was it? We we were we were chatting in the Guru weight loss community of getting fit with bad bit, and so that I'm gonna make a little a channel of of its own, just solely meant not to like make money or or grow subscribers or get monetization any of this. It's just simply to document my weight loss yeah. and to hopefully inspire someone. That's good. Yeah. Awesome. So that's that's what I want to do. Starting I think next week I'll I'll make it. Okay. I'm really excited about that one. Okay, we can do that. Um, do that. Yeah. Um, the one thing I'll say Fine though, thing. real quick before before we wrap it up, Patrick, do me one favor, please, 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 stream one time on Twitch. Just stream one time on Twitch. Tell your people you're coming over to stream. Stream mm-hmm. one time, and then let's see what you do. That's all I ask. Yeah. Because I think you'd be pleasantly surprised at how awesome it is. You already have a hundred followers, right? I, I'm I'm a hundred and eleven or something. Hey, I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm I'm killing it man these people are amazing over here as the kids say whoop there it is whoop there it is and with that that is all thank you guys for watching coming out supporting as you all do i love each and every one of you mofos uh you can follow mr joseph here at mr bad bit over on the uh the twitters you can follow me at nintendo gurus as you can see below us it, it, it is what it is um check us out youtube you're what bad big games yeah bad big okay. games on youtube okay and i am at nintendo gurus over on nintendo guru over on uh the are you sure about that bobby i'm sure yeah okay. i'm sure about that so that is all uh peace out preston <laughs>